Hi, it's Leslie Stalker, and we're back with our third part of the series. Uh, we took a brass chandelier that we found inexpensively in a thrift shop, um, and we went ahead and painted it. And if you miss those, you need to go back and see the first two. They're available on my YouTube channel where we prep it and then paint it. Um, so I painted it a quick coat of charcoal gray, uh, Annie Sloan's graphite. And then once that was dry, I used Artisan Enhancements uh, Pearl Plaster, which has a pearlescent quality to it and a little bit of grittiness. And that is the white that you see on the edges. And uh, we were uh, waiting for it to dry, so I used the Artisan Enhancements off camera. It's easy, it, it goes on just like paint. Um, many of your Annie Sloan stockists carry it, uh, and I'm sure it's available online yeah, through other stores. So we're gonna finish this project up. I'm going to use wax, dark wax. Uh, it really doesn't get a lot of wear because it'll be hanging um, from the ceiling, so you don't have to worry about protecting the finish. We're gonna do the dark wax more to accentuate the um, curves and the details. And again, give it a little bit more of an aged look. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, my Annie Sloan dark wax. I've talked about it before, you need very little. A little bit goes a long way. And you're going to just gently brush the areas that you want to recede. So not on the edges as much as where the carvings would be. I've got a little bit of mineral spirits on my brush because I clean my brush. And so it's going on very easily. That's one thing you can do with dark, well, with any wax. You can dilute it a little bit with mineral spirits and it will make the application easier. Then I wanna take a soft cloth, not buff it, but just wipe off any excess. Don't want too much sitting there. Again, this is just a fine, uh, technique to just add a little bit more to your, to your uh, piece. One thing to keep in mind is when you're looking at a chandelier, uh, you're going to be looking at it from this direction. And so you don't want to neglect the underside. If you see a little bit of brass showing through, I don't think it matters. I think, again, it just kind of gives it a nice quality. Um, one thing I do keep in mind whenever I'm uh, having a chandelier installed, there's usually a little touch-up that's going to go with it. Um, just happens. So it's easy to do. You can take your brush and uh, just touch up where need be if it chips. When you're looking at your chandelier, uh, the, where you're going to want to apply the wax is where there are any ridges or carvings and you're going to want it to be in the area that's recessed. You're, you don't want to completely cover uh, the surface with the dark wax. Again, it's just a small accent. You let your high areas be exposed and then this will help the um, more narrow areas received. So we're gonna wrap this up. Um, we've painted, we've applied some um, shiny medium to help bring out the highlights. And finally, our dark wax. As far as once this is finished and maintaining it, uh, all it needs is a dusting with a soft cloth. You're not gonna wanna use solvents or any kind of, really any kind of soap, just dust as with a soft cloth is more than enough. Uh, one other thing with the dark wax is it has a uh, underlying green tone. So just be aware that when you apply it, it may bring out a little bit more green 
than it looked when it was just painted. Not necessarily a bad thing, but something to be aware of. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit the like button. And uh, if you've had any problems painting your chandelier, leave me a comment below and I'll see you soon.